In this video, we'll show you how to use Unity's particle system to quickly and easily make a light shaft effect for your game or scene. To make this effect, we simply need the particle system. In the description below, you'll find the finished particle system and materials we created and used in this video, which you can freely download to use in your game or project. This video is brought to you by the Astro Galaxy Game Room Project and Course, a tutorial series filled with hours of content and professionally developed 3D models, textures, and 2D sprites. In this course, we will not only take you step by step through things such as creating game systems and mechanics, but also how to use and master lighting and rendering in Unity's various render pipelines. To instantly gain access to hours of high quality tutorials, professional level game assets, and much, much more, click the link in the description and begin your journey to creating the next great game today. Let's create a brand new particle system to create this effect. Let's begin by moving our particle emitter so that it's inside the room and right in front of the window. And for this particle system, we also want our emitter to be a rectangle and its size and shape to match that of the window. Let's also change our starting speed from 5 to 1. This way our particle sun shafts will move much slower and look a lot more natural. The key to achieving this effect can be found in our render module settings. In our render mode dropdown, we can see that we have several render modes that we can choose from. For our dust particles, we used our default billboard render. The billboard renders particles on a flat surface that face the direction specified in the render alignment setting. We can see currently we have our render alignment set to view, which will align them with the view of the camera. If we adjust our render alignment to world or local for example, it will align with the rotation of our emitter or that we specify within the settings. The next render mode we have is Stretch Billboard. The Stretch Billboard, like our billboard, are sprites rendered on planes which face the camera. However, unlike our standard billboard, we can change the different values of the sprite size and length within our render Stretch Billboard settings. The Horizontal Billboard render mode render sprites to be parallel to the XZ floor plane. The vertical billboard places our particles upright along the Y axis, but turns them facing the camera. The mesh render mode renders particles from a 3D mesh. For example, it's currently set on the default mesh of a cube. If we look within our scene view, we can see that our particle material is displaying the, the particles on the different faces of the cube. If we were to change our render mesh, we can clearly see how the particle is emitting our mesh and using the material that we have set in our render mode as the material for the mesh is emitting. With that said, let's select our stretch billboard render mode. And for our settings, we want to change the length scale from 2 to 30. From this point, we can already see our light shaft effect beginning to emerge. So let's also replace our default particle material with the particle emissive material we recently created. This way, the emission of our light color will be similar to the colors in our scene. Additionally, it also gives our light shaft particles the same emissive properties from our dust particles. We can brighten the light that appears to be coming from our light shafts by adjusting the particle's Y position. While this appears to be brightening the light, in actuality, it's moving the center of our particle closer to the emitter. Next, we need to soften the edges of our light shafts. 
To do that, we're going to enable and adjust our color over lifetime module. We want to simply slow down our simulation speed as well as enabling our pre-warm option. And lastly, let's rotate our game object so that it appears as though our light shafts are coming from the sky and shining into our room. With the basis of all three of our particle systems complete, from this point, we can simply continue to refine and adjust our particle values to assure that they all work together and in providing the proper effect we'd like to convey to the player.
to instantly gain access to hours of high quality tutorials, professional level game assets, and much, much more? Click the link in the description and begin your journey to creating the next great game today.